Hey everyone, I'm Travis Guillory in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with Chef Valerie from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thanks for coming in for us today. Oh, thanks for having me here. You know, so we're getting into the fall. It's getting a little chilly outside. Speaking of chili, you see what I did there? There's a nice little segue. <laughs> we're going to be making a, a pretty cool chili and it looks super involved, but it's actually pretty easy. Right, you're only chopping three things. You're going to chop onions, which are already in here, garlic, which is already in here, and then you're going to chop some sweet potato. But if you really don't want to chop sweet potato, you can get these in the freezer section ready to go. It's a lot more expensive, but if it's preventing you from making your own food, then maybe it's really not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the onions and garlic are already sauteing and I'm going to turn this up just a few clicks and we're going to go ahead and add in the sweet potato. So if we had more time, we would let these caramelize and get nice and soft and get some um, really good color, which really good color equals really good flavor. We would get that going. And then we have chili powder, cumin, smoked paprika, salt and pepper. And anytime you have dry herbs, excuse me, dry herbs and spices, especially spices, it's really good to give those a little bit of a cook either in a dry pan or in a little bit of oil. So we have some canola oil in here and that's gonna really help open up those spices and make it taste really, really good. Okay, so let's pretend that this is all caramelized and nice and then the super easy part. So we have black beans. These are low sodium black beans that have been drained and rinsed. And then we have low sodium um, petite diced tomatoes. So any kind of canned tomatoes. If you have sauce, if you have um, crush, that's going to be totally fine too. Don't get caught up on exactly what kind of tomatoes. And the other thing that we have that's really good is this chipotle in adobo. And I say use all of these low sodium products because this is a little bit higher in sodium, but if you have eliminated all of that with these low sodium canned products, um, then you can go ahead and use this. So this is just a chipotle pepper in adobo sauce, which is tomato, vinegar, garlic, and it gives a really, really nice flavor. And you mentioned low sodium. You also mentioned uh, draining and rinsing the beans. Yes. Can, can you explain that for, for folks that might not have seen one of these segments sure. before? That's one of like your, 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 your key bits of advice is to rinse the canned stuff. So why is that? Right. So that removes 50% of the sodium. And so if you buy the reduced sodium already and then you drain and rinse those, it has even 50% of what was in there already. And you're not really gaining a lot of flavor from the salt that's in or the sodium that's in those canned products. You really want to be able to control that with the salt that you add in the dishes. It's more for the canning purposes. So that's why that's why you want to get yeah. some of that out of there. So it's really easy. This is just going to simmer for about 20 minutes and let the um, sweet potato get nice and soft and all the flavors are going to meld together and when you're finished you can garnish it with a little bit of green onion or um, smashed or chopped avocado yeah. and you're done this is really a well under a 40 minute dish absolutely and I, I mean not very many steps not very difficult mm -hmm. to do so it's super easy for folks at home and once again what is this called again just for folks that are kind of yeah this is a us? smoky black bean and sweet potato chili Yum. Yes. All those flavors in that one little bowl right there. It awesome. is very good. Well, once again, all of these recipes, of course, are on our website, kjrh.com. Everything we cook here in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen is available on there. So if you missed any in the previous weeks, especially uh, getting into these fall months, we're, we're getting some, some fall-like dishes like that. So head over to our website, kjrh.com, for a list of all the great things that we're making here in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen.